Hi everyone, James here with a video review from of LEGO Ninjago The Ultrasonic Raider. Now, before I get, get into this review, can I just say this? This is an amazingly huge set. I mean, I mean, if I just take the camera, look at the size of that. I mean, whoa. Now, firstly, I love the idea of these treads. It's, it's different and original at the same time. We have huge golden blades at the side. Um, very nice little detailed stickers going along here. And huge tires in the back. So yeah. Now um, I'm actually going to get into these minifigures before I do the actual set. So let's go through it. Um, now thankfully we have six minifigures. And we actually have all four ninja from the show ex excluding Lloyd. And all four come with their golden weapons, which is great. So, starting off, here we have Zane with his um, little golden weapons. I forget what they call these. Um, it's not katana, anyway. That's like a boom, um, like a baboon type thing. Um, it's something beginning with S, anyway. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but um, anyway, his oops, he comes with two of these, which are very nicely detailed. And first, he and himself, you know, very nicely detailed. Take off his little mask, you know, all the, the exact same face, but very nicely done. How it goes back on, so you know, he has two. He's a very nice color scheme of white, a little bit of black, creamish brown, and gold. So it's very, very nicely done. So yeah. Now, we now come on to what is perhaps, who is perhaps my favourite of the four ninja, Cole, with his golden, um, quake, um, now, by the way, Sian's element is ice, Cole's element is earth, and he comes with a little scythe. Now, I, I never heard of a scythe before I heard of Cole and his weapon, so it's very nicely done, anyway. Now, for Cole himself, you know, he has a bit of a angry-looking face, um, or at least the face to say, I'm here for business, not anything else. Um, but for his color scheme, he comes with uh, he he comes with black, darkish gray, darkish gray, dark brown, a little bit of gray in there, silver, and what looks like a little bit of cream, like Zane's, only a little bit darker. So yeah, very very nice. And whoops. Now we have Kai with his golden sword of fire. Very, very cool. I love how they actually detailed or molded in a dragon head in there between the blade and the handle. It just looks class. And I love how the fire sweeps up the sword, the blade itself. It's very, very nice. Then for Kai himself, um, very nicely detailed. Taking off his mask, he's, you know, an angry looking face like Cole, only he comes with a few a few little scars. Um he never had these on the TV show, so I thought it I still seem it a bit odd I still think it's a bit odd how excuse me how Lego continues with this. But nonetheless, very very nice. Look, he comes with the nice pure red colour that I love. Um apologies if this looks like it's coming off a bit pinkish, but um he also has dark red a little bit of grey in there, dark red, a little bit of black, and a little bit of what looks like reflective silver, so very nice, and gold in there, so very cool. And, oops, and, uh, oh, I swear these four just want to play dominoes or something. And last, but by no means least, we have Jay. Now, Jay has his nunchucks of lightning, which are very nice, and um, surprisingly well done. Um, just want to see if I can... Yeah, there we go. So yeah, um, now for Jay himself, if we can take it off, you can notice, hopefully you can notice that he has a little bit of a, um, the eyebrow missing at the end, you know, just a little bit of gap, very nice. Um, his main colour scheme, of course, is blue, a little bit of greyish silver, silver, blue, Probably will mention already mentioned that. Then dark blue going along the ups the inside there. So yeah. 
Um, now I must say the golden weapons look great with all four of the ninja, so I have absolutely nothing against them. Very, very nice. In fact, I'm actually amazed how the, how the Ninjago TV show got the accuracy so close. I mean, it looks great for these guys. And now we move on to the snakes, or as they're known on the show, the Serpentine. Now we begin with um, the last of the supposed Alacondri, um, and this guy's name is Pythor. Now, Pythor has one of the four um, silver fang blades that you can collect with the wave, with the fourth wave of the Ninjago series. Um, these are basically in the show are used to awaken the Great Devourer, a huge snake which will apparently devour everything in Ninjago to take revenge on um, on the humans for locking on the snakes underground. So yeah, so he comes with one of these. It belongs to the to the snake tribe known as the Hypnobri. So yeah, um. Oh no 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 sorry um it's the Venomari. Or it. Ah oh, darn. Ugh. No the fa the Fang Pyres the Fang Pyres that's what it was sorry. Um this guy here Spitta is actually a Venomari. Um you know. Um, you're meant to tell the difference between all these snakes because they're like color coded, if you want to call it that. But um, Spitta here is, of course, green. He is lime green, dark green, black, red, nice little white, yellow eyes, white teeth, and a silver mace. But in all, very, very nice. And I love the head sculpt. Looks very like a cobra. Very nice. Now, back to Pythor himself, um, besides the golden fang blade. He is very, very nicely detailed. I mean, you know, we come with five other of the of the serpentine leaders who come with these with this like um, s snail tail effect. But I just love the way Lego have done that. It's so cool. Plus, all the detailing on on Pythor just astonishes me. I mean, we, you know, me in purple, black, gold, a little bit of light blue in there. Um, he has bright red eyes and white teeth, but I must say, the detailing on this guy is just phenomenal. I mean, they even detailed the back, which is something I wouldn't see a whole lot on Lego minifigures. So I must say, very, very cool. Now, now that we have um, the minifigures done, time, time to bring out the big guns. Oh yeah, I'm talking about the ultrasonic radar here. Now, again, first off the bat, this is huge. I mean, if we take the Cole's Earth Drill from the Final Battle series that I reviewed not all that long ago, um, it serves for most of the length and mo most of the width of the ultrasonic crater. But I mean, this thing feels very small in hand um, if you were to take off the drill, but technically the drill counts as part of the vehicle. so. It gives, the drill gives it that extra length, but in all, this set is huge. Now, I love the idea, again, I love the idea of the treads. They're an original idea that I haven't seen a lot of on, like, purely Lego sets. Um, you know, like the brick-based builds. Sorry, something just looked like it came out of place there. No, oh, that's... Anyway, sorry about that. Um, but I mean, you know, this is huge. Um, again, the treads. The only dis the only thing that I don't like about this is, is that you know, I have it on a wooden um, desk here, and the tires roll along well. You know, they roll along perfectly fine. The treads are the only thing that just stick around, really. But if they were on something like this mat or this cover here. Well, it rolls a little bit, so. Well, the treads do anyway, so. Now, four low gimmicks um, on either side of the ultrasonic crater, here and here, we have these little flick missiles, which are very nicely done. They have four spikes and what looks like a nose cone. And on the show, these are used as grappling hooks, so very nicely done. 
um, you can put these back in. Now you can actually alter the way that these are angled, so it's totally up to you guys. Um, now, I, there are two little things on the top here that you can actually move forward, and these could actually serve as guns, or blasters, should you care to use them as that. So it's very nice, and the and these actually move all the way forward, all the way back for storage, and they actually fold out quite a bit, so very nicely done. Then I love these exhausts here with, surprisingly, these very nice fire-like things, which have the red going up and then, you know, blurring into orange going up, so it's very nicely done there. And at last we have the cockpit, where, by opening up this one, and you can actually open up this one in the back, you can store two minifigures in in each. Now, just for the sake of argument, I'm going to throw in Zane. Let's see now. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to put Zane in the front here. Now, these actually, now these little minifigures store in here incredibly well, as you would, as anyone would expect for a Lego set. And and you can still close up and everything. And J fits up fits up in the back here perfectly well. And there we go. Now the only disadvantage I find about this is that on the TV show they actually managed to get all four ninja in three ninja into this and one ninja into here. So I'm a bit disappointed about that, but nonetheless I am really, really glad about this. Now, there is two other things, oh sorry, three other things that you can do with this set. The other, the first is that opening up the back here, you can actually store the likes of a Serpentine Prisoner in here. Which is very nice, um, I don't like to use it anyway. Um, the second thing you can do is, using this little um, gimmick here, you can actually push on this. And these golden blades will, sh will shit out. And also looks all right, sort of like an ultra, like an ultra fast mode, but you know you can just pull them back. And then the incredibly cool bit I find about this set is that if we take Jay's cockpit, hit and holding the front of the ultrasonic crater, push, pull up, push back, whoops, and just take it out and push in on the back again. To extend the wings. Oops. Here we have a jet for its own. I mean, that is that is incredibly well engineered into that. I mean, you see, at first, I never would have thought there would be a jet in there. You know, on the TV show at least. Um, for the toy, yeah, I kind of saw that coming. But I mean, wow, this looks great. Now, um, just set the camera back down for a second. Um, now you still can fold these little gun, these little like cannon things forward. So yeah. Sorry, something came up. But, um, but yeah. Now to put it back, just push, pull back on that. Load up, and there we are. Now, in all, this is a great set. Sorry, um, in all, this is a great set, um, apologies, it's getting late and I should actually be in bed right now, so, yeah, but, um, this is a great set, I'd highly recommend it if you saw this on eBay or anywhere, um, it is a big set to build and it does take a while, but in the end, it's worth it, and in the end, I'm actually going to give this a good mark of 10 out of 10, honestly, I don't see any f real floor, flaw with this, Top marks, top toy, if you can see this and it's available, go get it. Don't be a fool, go get this, please. And so, that is my review complete. Alrighty, this is Night Slash 2020 Junior, subscribe to my channel for videos and more. Like me on Facebook by searching for Night Slash 2020 Junior. Have a nice day, see you all around, until next time, please keep watching my reviews. And this is the Ninjago, the Lego Ninjago Ultrasonic Creator. Bye.